Welcome back to Resident Evil 4. We're not dead. I was kidding that being the last one. Let's do this scene again, but right. Kennedy. You again. The sacred rite that's about to begin at this tower shall endow the girl with magnificent power. She will join us, become one of us. This is no ritual. It's terrorism. Isn't that a popular word these days? Not to worry. We've prepared a special ritual for you. <laughs> so you know what I was talking about Donkey Kong Country being a theme of the last part? How much more Donkey Kong Country can you get? Less country and just straight up Donkey Kong. Are they going to drop barrels? Well, I guess we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Go where I want you to. I think I pretty much grabbed all the yellow herbs up to this point, so hooray, but I need it for the obvious evil trap we're about to run into. The stairs. The stairs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep. Make it past this. This guy likes to hang out over here just to try to block your path. And some of them are on fire for some reason. And I'm like, hmm, what's the big deal with that? I'll just slip right by it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ow. You take his place. <laughs> you have earned a promotion. You just wait for that to explode because it's a pretty tight interval. You can walk around there. You only have to go up the entire stairs, just that part, because they have this nice little rail over here where you can avoid the trap altogether. <laughs> it looked like he wasn't even responding to the bullet. He just landed on his ankle and went, oh shit! <laughs> It looks like you shot him in the back of the leg and he went, ow, my knee. I mean, hurting your knee is fucked up. So we're gonna go up this ladder and go right to where this is. And they load it with uh, guys. I wonder how we can handle them. Like this. Kick. It's all in the mind. Have some barrels and have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a guy throwing dynamite at you in a threatening manner. As opposed to. Well, as opposed to actually getting anywhere close to hitting me. <laughs> oh, you got an explosive ball on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Am I going to kill you, Donkey Kong style? Yeah. <laughs> now, one of those, get, well, you can just watch this bowling there. There we go. <laughs> now, I do want the bullets they drop, though, because I'm low. Lo and behold, it is I, Leon S. Kennedy. Surprise. <laughs> Unfortunately, mainly these guys drop money. But again, money's great, so why not? And this game also part keeps on giving me TMP ammo out of all of them, so if it wants me to use it, I'll fucking use it. <laughs> I see the cultists have been armed with ballistics too. <laughs> if you feel like dancing. So the trick on this one is there's a little bit of one of those elevator scenes like you have in most combat games. There are some elements of this elevator that are certainly tough, and they basically throw every enemy possible at you at this point to waste as much ammo as you can. This is one of those areas that's this area, kind of like the water room, is very much defined on difficulty about how much ammo you have available on you at the time. Because if you're low on ammo, this part sucks. But there are a couple things you can do to definitely improve your chances on handling this part better. 
we have to move these boxes first of all so we can raise the elevator. But you have to be prepared to kill two enemies specifically. Oh my god, that grenade is in the worst spot <laughs> for my brain. <laughs> it's like, <clears throat> oh. <sighs> oh man, this is not healthy for me. <laughs> if a grenade could flip you off. Yes. <laughs> I'm getting ready because this part has a lot of enemies you got to kill. You can, if you're smart about it and you know what to aim for, you'll be okay. The tricky part is once we push this down, uh, two uh, crossbowmen are going to spawn outside of the elevator and they will kill you very quickly. So get ready to kill them first. There's number one. They're very hard to see and their aim is incredible. But they only take like one shot to kill, thankfully. All right, now it's become way easier. <laughs> Those guys will murder you. But at this point, a bunch of red cloaks just keep pouring down. Unfortunately, they just land in front of me and their, their stun animation is so long that you're like, eh, I don't have to worry about it. I'm like, do I want to use that now? Nah, I got to save it once more enemies start to bunch up. Oh, my tramp stamp. <laughs> Just got it put in. It's still tender. <laughs> it's a picture of Leon's face. It's where his heart is. <laughs> Near his ass. <laughs> also correct. <laughs> I like to keep them guessing. So I move it each day. <laughs> like a worm. Suplex. Nothing solid. <laughs> Just keep firing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm endlessly emoji, just the descriptive term, just easily. I'm like a worm. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> yeah. Stay back, losers. I don't need to deal with you. Oh, man, those big ones do not flinch to anything. But in this small space, they suck. And when you're dealing with a bunch of enemies, there's a good chance they will go up to you and gobble your head. But look, they just keep coming. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And it, again, the, the luck comes down to sometimes that ammo does not spawn. Are we, are we done? Uh, feeling a little wormy right now. Uh. <laughs> All my blood draining. <laughs> Just like a worm. Don't talk to me unless you've made nutrients for the earth. Then come back to me. <laughs> I mean, like, do it. But then... <laughs> But yeah, be honest with yourself. <laughs> I don't have any, be honest with yourself. Are you a worm or not? <laughs> Pooper, you're supposed to. <laughs> don't let rules tell you what to do. <laughs> Worms don't care about rules. <laughs> Sounds like he's giving like a seminar to a middle school. <laughs> right. He points to the board and there's like an acronym for WRM. It's like, follow the WROM method, the worm method. What does that mean? It spells worm. <laughs> this is English class. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> But OK, <laughs> once we've beat them up, we've kind of entered the uh, boss fountain and merchant area because we're finally going to face down Salazar. Our worm nonsense getting interrupted by gameplay. <laughs> There's nothing really mentioned at this point we really need to buy from the merchant. Because he just gives them to you? Welcome. Pretty much. 
<laughs> the only time it gives you ammo is for free and randomly. <laughs> we don't feel like it. Is that all? Is that all? Thank you. What are you? We got some weapons to tune at the very least. So, oh, I'm one short of getting the the full upgrade. I need increased capacity once on the red nine. Is that all? Which I'm sure I do. Yeah, I do. Is that all? <laughs> when it does, it, we can't upgrade it at this moment, but next time we'll be able to add the powerful feature of the Red Nine. And I'm going to sit, then that's one of the reasons I think I'm also trying to save a bit of the money. Even though I know for a fact I'm going to be using the Magnum on this boss, so let's make it a little beefier. <laughs> Thank you. And we're going to get a lot of money in this fight. Ugh, <sighs> Magnum ammo, fuck you. <laughs> You know where you belong. Now, the two guns I use for this one, or I say two and a half because I switch between this one, but shotgun's primary weapon, and then the big damage dealers are either going to be uh, your Magnum. If you don't have that, it would be your sniper rifle. Um, but you can use any gun you want on the damage part. And this is a fight that is very much based on sometimes luck. You'll see. Ritual is over. She left with my men to an island. What? I think it's time I paid my due respects towards her impressive and stubborn will. Mr. Kennedy. Guess after this, there'll be one less to worry about. He doesn't give a shit. He's seen too many monsters. So what I do in this level is just run around the level and collect all the ammunition and stuff. So I don't even fight him for the first couple of minutes. Down here, there are a couple of those very useless parasites. Once I mentioned, just ignore them. They don't do anything. They just want to tickle you. <laughs> good, good, good. You think I'd call them cute, but no. <laughs> they don't have little eyeballs. They're not fat enough. If they had fat little bellies and they squeed, then maybe. <laughs> yeah. They're silent, that's the problem. <laughs> I don't know, like personally in real life, if that thing sounded like a red panda, it would be scarier. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, see, quick time. But also, what if it barks like a chihuahua? Well, chihuahuas are kind of scary to begin with. <laughs> uh oh. So sometimes he will grab you if you don't do the QT enough and just throws you to the lower level. Okay, now I'm ready. Damn it. <laughs> I finally figured out a tech shit. No. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Fucking monsters. Look how much ammo I got through that process. I am loaded back on ammo, baby. <laughs> Now that we're loaded up, we're gonna go right in front of his face, and the trick is to aim for his big, weak spot eye. Now don't get hit by this attack, that's a one-hit kill. But if you level that up, one good shot will open up his weak point, which is him. <laughs> he has the expression of, oh no! I didn't think this would work. Get pop a couple shots on him. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, a QT rise, I close this, whoop. <laughs> and then repeat process. A lot of times if you're moving around a lot, those tentacles will never hit you. 
except for that. <laughs> but it's completely it's completely random. If you notice, like right in front of his face, the tentacles rarely show up. They can hit you, but it's pretty rare. I would say, as cool as the boss fights look, uh, they're not necessarily. I wouldn't say they're difficult. That maybe the last one has its difficulty, but most of these are like, as long as you have a certain tactic, like this guy's a cakewalk. Do you want to aim for the big shoulder? It doesn't make a difference. As long as you hit him, it, it does about the same. And that ends Salazar and unfortunately kills the last predator monster, which the predator monster that came after you is stronger than that plant monster was. <laughs> but whatever. And he did drop us some money. Ew, it stinks. <laughs> Let me spray pant that on the wall. Shit, I don't have my cans. 50,000 pesetas. Damn. Somebody give me my cans. <laughs> this case is disgusting. <laughs> I will have order in my community. <laughs> I will have order in my cans. <laughs> Don't you dare talk about my cans. <laughs> my cans. My cans. Hey, my cans. My cans. My precious antique cans. Now, to make this part feel ultimately anticlimactic, it doesn't end at the boss fight. We have this little area to... Kind of walk and think about our decisions in life. Huh, oh, well. Barrels. <laughs> well, I don't regret anything. <laughs> I'm living my best life. And I never will. Which part? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but check this area, because once you go down that rope, you cannot get anything back from here. So I'm like checking if there's any hidden treasure or anything. Nah. I'm about to feel really ashamed of myself here in a couple seconds. A snake. I don't get it. Oh, shit. Finally hit by a snake. Fucking snake. <laughs> Stop dodging my bullet and die. <laughs> Damn, the lizard worm. Now he's going to heat this hard bowl egg while crying. <laughs> Frustrated to chomp an egg. Goddamn green herb again. <laughs> my healing is getting on my shit list. It's the rhythm of the night. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> An elevator without music is depressing. <laughs> Fucking monsters. This is the up and down of night. <laughs> Willy Wonka never worried about this. Also, they give you a boss fountain when you're not fighting a boss. Thanks, I guess. I have so much ammo. <laughs> Ooh, look how nice. This is looking so nice, except for those fucking eight bullets. You ran out of ammo until the boss. Yeah. He was a fool for filling his room with barrels. That's on him. Ooh, the red nine upgrade. We doing that for sure. But. Okay. There we go. Exclusive. Increase the firepower beyond the weapon's threshold for 80,000. It's going to take all the up. money. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But now it's super powered. And we'll try it on him. Well, it's not trivia, but you can kill the merchant. <laughs> Need a ride, handsome? <laughs> okay.
but Ada is there to pick us up in a boat to take us to the island where Ashley's being held. The last zone of the game is a military base and lab. I am hit and miss on this section. There are some ridiculous moments. There are some actually genuinely unnerving and scary moments. But overall, there's a lot of moments to just kind of feel like, man, I didn't want to play a military simulator. <laughs> I do remember from way back in the day when the, when the game came out, there was kind of a thing of it's nice how fresh this game is until a certain point, And then it just feels like Resident Evil again. A little bit. Well, in this case, like I'm going to I can tell you in advance, there's going to be a part in this definitely near the la the later half of it where we're just going to sit there and be like, OK, let, we're not going to talk about what's happening on screen. We could be talking about anything. If we if, if we randomly start getting fan art for this something, it might be the point of being like, hey, let's show some fan art or something like that, because <laughs> it is just boring as fuck. Not to talk down. That's good. This game is great. Obviously, it's a lot of fun. But the, if there's one level I really don't like, there's one part on the island section where I'm it. It just feels like I'm sitting there with my chin on my palm, just waiting for it to be over. But that's the end of uh, Bro. Rest in peace, Bro, <laughs> the big cheese. We got our new friend showing up, Krauser. We're going to have to give a good nickname for him. We have to find Ashley. We have to talk to Lemon Squeeze again. It's just going to be <laughs> great. As long as you stick to your principles as the worm. <laughs> I love how his pr he's so serious about something that he gives no further description of. <laughs> Remember, be the worm. Remember, worms don't regret their life. <laughs> their brains are so small, they don't even know where they are. <laughs> be like the worm. <laughs> they would have no appreciation for crossfire. They would have no appreciation for art. Have you ever thrown a worm? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you can if you like. You can't throw it like a football. <laughs> That's important to know. There's a difference between a football and a worm. <laughs> so remember, be the worm. <laughs> and not the football. <laughs> because you can't be thrown. Don't let the world throw you. <laughs> <laughs> be the worm. Be unthrowable. <laughs> <laughs> This Let's Play is bad for my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounds like it could be a good motivational poster <laughs> that you don't bother to explain. <laughs> I'm going to try to remember that next time we do a Jackbox stream. <laughs> be the worm. Be unthrowable. Throwable. <laughs> and they're unturnable, too. Because <laughs> they always say the worm turns. It doesn't mean you turned it. It turned itself. Man, we need to all be like worms. What the fuck? <laughs> you just had a realization. I look at my hands and I'm just turning into Leon. <laughs> <laughs> Big cheese. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Next time, we'll see you on the island. Bring your worms with you. We got to be ready. They get lonely. <laughs> <laughs>